see what mummy's got in the box. So Maya done her sleep study last night and we're just about to go drop this back to the hospital and then the doctor will read the results and um, we will let you guys know if she has sleep apnea or not, which is what they think she has. Um, I'm not feeling too great again today. I've got chest pains again, so I'm not sure. I'm waiting for the doctor to phone, but um, I've had so many different tests done and they've all come back okay. So I'm not too sure what's causing it, but um, I'm gonna, might, I'm not 100% sure, go to hospital and just have myself checked over again. But um, we're just gonna drop this back and we will be back. So I'm in the car now on the way to drop off um, the sleep study machine. Um, debating whether to go to A&E or not because obviously I've got this chest pain again. Um, I'm not sure, I will let you guys know if I do go but I've, I've just not been right since I had my second vaccine. Um, I'm not sure what's going on. I mean, I've had so many different tests done, so it can't be anything really, really bad. But um, I went to see a neurologist about the numbness I was getting in the right side and the pins and needles. And um, basically he said everything, like from his point of view, looks good, but they just want to do um, an MRI bra brain scan just to make sure, you know, like everything's all right and then we'll go from there. But um, it doesn't explain the chest pain. So basically in my chest is like here that I get it. And um, yeah, so I've had all these tests done and all the tests have come back fine. But um, the chest pains started after I got put on sertraline. So um, I keep saying um. But basically, I got put on to sertraline, and then a few days later, I had loads of problems with them. I started getting really bad palpitations. I got rushed into hospital. I'm not on them anymore, but um, basically, yeah, the doctor said that they can give indigestion, and then that, that I had really bad indigestion, and then I don't take them, and I'm still getting this chest pain. But then um, they got better for a little while, so I stopped taking the medication that they gave me. I can't remember what it's called. Um, Sorry about the noise. Right, can you turn the music down a little bit, please? Maya, turn it down a minute. Mummy's just videoing. So, um, oh, I can't even think what I'm saying with these kids, honestly. So yeah, I stopped taking the, I can't even say it's, um, from, I, I can't remember. I will write it in so you know what it is, but I stopped taking this medication, which is for indigestion, because I started to feel better. Then, um, yeah, I was all right for a while and then it started coming back again. So it might be that it's a really bad indigestion, but I just thought indigestion was like a burning feeling or like you have like acidy, like I don't have any of that really. So it's stressful because it's a six weeks holidays now and I just wanna, you know, enjoy it with the kids and do nice things with the kids, take them out and just, just enjoy our time. But it just feels like I'm constantly not wow and it's just it's driving me insane i just want to be back to my normal self i mean if it is indigestion then um, i suppose that i'll have to stay on these tablets because i'm like one of these people that i hate taking tablets like i hate it but if i have to then then i have to but um yeah so we're on the way to take this bag i'm not too sure how long it takes for the doctor to like read um, the machine and Maya's results. But um, she woke up a few times last night screaming. That's normal for Maya, she does that a lot. Um, so hopefully it doesn't take too long and we get the results from this. I spoke to Maya's specialist nurse about her ADOS assessment because we missed it. Like I still can't get over that I missed that assessment when it's so important. Um, and they um, basically a nurse told the lady to that rebooks it that if there's any cancellations like explained about Maya and stuff that if there's any cancellations um, they will ring us 
and let me know so I'm hoping there's a cancellation because I from my understanding there's only two kids a week being seen because it's a two hour long appointment so hopefully that gets done sooner I mean it's my own fault so I can't really complain kids in the background just honestly okay man so um yeah and then with my school uh we're doing an appeal and we will hear back well, that's all been accepted and i think the appeal was in november november i can't even remember i have to check the dates but i'm hoping it's annoying really because it's like i'm i'm sat like thinking do i buy her uh, school clothes for her original school that she's at or like do you know what I mean so I don't even know but I think she's going to be going back to her original school because obviously the appeal isn't till um, after they finish after they start back at school so we will see but um, I will obviously keep you all updated but uh, I will let you all know if I do go to a and &E. it's just it's, it's so annoying because I, who wants to sit in a and &E for hours to be told oh yeah everything's fine your ECG is fine your blood tests are fine it's like it's just annoying but I will let you all know so I'm in hospital um because of the chest pains um just had can't see a cannula fitted and blood test here ECG so just waiting for the results hopefully not much longer but as soon as i know anything i will let you all know but yeah i'm getting really hungry now I'm starving so hopefully not much longer so just came to get some food i'm all done now i'll we'll update you all in a minute um waiting for my lift but came and got a subway we'll update everyone when I'm in the car and what's going on so I've just been picked up um, basically all the tests they done are fine uh, which I kind of knew but it's just it's scary now, when you the get second exit at the round of the first but um yeah it's just scary round. when you have chest pain and then like sharp pains in your chest but i can't count how many um please follow the road like, for tests i've had on my heart and that and that have all come back like fine so um i basically i'm waiting for a call from my doctor now like from my normal doctors and kind of go from there and see if we can figure out why I'm getting these chest pains because I never used to get them and um, see if they can do anything but I'm glad to be out I, I hate going to hospitals I know most people hate going to hospitals but it's just so like draining I just want to enjoy the school holidays now um, hopefully things calm down with my chest I mean I started taking the medication that the doctor gave me today so hopefully that helps and we will see but yeah I'm waiting for a call back from my doctor so as soon as the doctor's called I will um, let you know what they say so the kids are just eating some like lunch stuff because they had a McDonald's for, they had a McDonald's for lunch so now for dinner they're having lunch bits um, me and Arabella are just about to have a bath together but this is what everyone's got. They've already eaten most of it anyway, haven't you, Maya? Hello, Maya. Show everyone your tooth. Wow, she loved their tooth. And um, Ellie's just had a shower. Maya and Rome had theirs yesterday and I'm just about to have a bath with Arabella. And there's my little princess. And, oh, look at you, Grumpy. <laughs> look at that and Rome has been a bad boy no, mommy. yeah you are no, mommy. and you're not getting your new toy that I nanny got it. you because you're being silly I want then it. be good no. should we go have a bath Arabella 
Arabella. She's trying to feed Maya, look. Look, Maya, she's trying to feed you. No, no, no. Maya, go, ah. <laughs> Honestly, guys, I've got to show you. Just look how bad my arm is. You can't even see, it's not focusing there. Like, it's so sore. Like, I don't know if I'm allergic to the plasters as well. But, um, so, so sore. They, like, they tried to get blood out of me like three times once there. And then on the other arm, here, there, and down there. So, that's where I had the cannula on there. Yeah, that is for another day. So me and Arabella are about to go have a bath. Oh dear. So this is what my house gets like. It's so crazy. Now Arabella's getting upset with everyone. She's like, get me out. What room? What do you want? You're not having that. Until you start being good. Oh dear. Careful, Arabella. Popcorn. Are you having popcorn? No popcorn today. Yeah. I've had a bath with Arabella. Um, the kids are all in bed. So now I'm going to change my nails. I'm just going to um, fold uh this all off because it's got like matte on it and then i'm going to repaint it uh because i'm just it's just all like chipping away and you can't really see on here not looking too good so i'm going to redo my nails and then i will show you all what my nails look like after but yeah this is a like before of them and i will show you what they look like once I've done them. Still got like mascara under my eyes, honestly. I have finally finished my nails. It took me a while and I'm feeling so tired now, but here they are. I mean, these will do till I go get them done properly. See a close up. I made a, I forgot what this is called. Holographic? I don't know. But yeah, and then the rest just, um, uh, like a nudie, like, um, I don't know what you call it. My mind is not here tonight, honestly. That's how you know I'm tired. But, um, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, please don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel as it really helps. Um, I will let you guys know Maya's results uh, for her sleep study. The doctor didn't call today, so I was a bit gutted, but I'm going to call the doctors tomorrow, and then I will update you all on what's going on, um, what they kind of say. But, um, yeah, till next time, guys. Bye.